In example 12.7, we're going to be finding the angle of twist. So given a 38 millimeter diameter solid steel shaft, two meters long, is subject to a torque of 600 newton meters as shown. The steel is AISI 1020 hot rolled. Find the maximum shear stress and B, the total angle of twist. Okay, so again, with SI, we're going to work in newtons and meters. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate our polar moment of inertia, which is calculated that in millimeters, and we converted that in meters. Next, we're going to calculate the maximum stress. Well, the, the C dimension where the maximum stress occurs, which is half of the diameter. And then we're going to calculate the maximum shear stress. That's tau equals TC over J. And then I get 55.6 times 10 to the 6 pascals, which is 55.6 mega pascals. Next, we'll find the twist. Okay, so... We look up the modulus of rigidity of steel in Appendix G, and we get 79.3 times 10 to the third megapascal. And then we go into equation 12.6 to calculate what our angle of twist is, um, TL over GJ, and we get 0.0738 radians. So then we're going to convert two degrees. Um, 2 pi radians equals 360 degrees, as I said before. So therefore, our angle of twist in terms of degrees is 4.23 degrees. Next, cal next example, 12.8. A solid steel shaft is to resist a torque of 300,000 pound inches. The angle of twist is not to exceed 1 degree in 5 foot, and the maximum shear stress is not to exceed 12,000 psi. Calculate the required shaft diameter and select the diameter to use. Okay, so this is a design problem. We have two tests. One is the allowable twist, and then the other one is the allowable maximum shear stress. So first, let's find the diameter required diameter based on the allowable twist specification. To do that, we're going to use equation 12.6, and we'll solve that for J. And then once we do that, it allows us to solve for the diameter to the fourth. And then to go into this equation, we need to have theta, our angle of twist and radians. So we're going to convert that here. Then we're going to solve this for our required diameter using equation 12, 6. Um, and we get 5.44 inches. This is the required diameter based on our allowable twist. Next, we have to find the required diameter based on the allowable shear stress. To do that, we're going to use equation 12.4. And that is a canned equation here. So we're going to plug our variables in and we get 5.03. So therefore, the shaft size is based on the allowable twist because we ended up with a greater diameter when we looked at allowable twist. Allowable twist was 5.44. So then we're going to consult table 12.1. We're going to select the shaft size to the next largest quarter inch. Therefore, our shaft is going to be a five and a half inch diameter shaft. Example 1210. Calculate the maximum horsepower that can be transmitted by a two and a half diameter solid steel shaft operating at 300 RPM. The allowable shear stress is 900, nine, excuse me, 9,000 PSI. So I wrote this into our format, our given and find format. Given a two and a half inch diameter shaft it operates at 300 RPM with an allowable shear stress of 9,000 PSI, find the maximum horsepower that can be transmitted. So our solution is, first we are going to find the polar moment of inertia using our pi d to the fourth over 32. 
Next, we're going to calculate what our allowable torque is based on equation 12.3. That's allowable torque equals the allowable stress times J divided by C. And then we're going to go into equation 12.7 and calculate what our maximum horsepower is. And we get 131.4 horsepower. So our two and a half inch solid steel shaft can, with this allowable torque, transmit 131 horsepower. Okay, for our last example, we have a solid steel shaft, AISI 1020, is required to transmit a power of 50 kilowatts. The speed of the shaft is 6 revs per second. The allowable shear stress is 67 MPAs, and the allowable angle of twist per meter of shaft length is not to exceed 0.065 radians. Determine the required diameter of the shaft. Solution. Find the required diameter based on the allowable shear stress. The first thing we need to do is find the speed in revolutions per minute, RPM. So we take our revs per second and we multiply by 60. Then we need to find the transmitted torque using equation 12.7. And we get a torque of 1.326 times 10 to the third Newton meters. And then we'll find our required diameter based on the allowable shear stress using equation 12.4. And we get 46.5 millimeters. Next, we're going to find the required diameter based on the allowable twist. To do that, we use equation 12.6, and we solve for D. So, therefore, we end up with 40.5. So, therefore, our solution is going to be based on the required diameter based on the allowable shear stress. And then to select our proper size, we get 46.5 millimeters.